Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Nabila Nur Amalia and I am a college student of English Education Study Program at Sriwijaya University. And in this video, I would like to tell you about the basic teaching skills. Alright, so teaching is an activity carried out by a teacher in managing the learning environment to encourage students to want to learn. During teaching, the teacher will always transfer the knowledge he has to students. To transfer knowledge, it is necessary to have basic skills or commonly called as basic teaching skills. Basic teaching skills are skills that must be possessed by teaching staff like teachers or lecturers so that teaching activities can run professionally, effectively, and efficiently. Actually, there are eight basic teaching skills, but in this video, we will only focus on the three basic teaching skills. The first one is questioning skills. Questioning skills are the skills of a teacher to hold questions and answers as feedback on the learning process. These skills are mandatory for all teachers, both novice and professional teachers. The questions asked by the teacher must be in high quality and refer to the material being studied. And the second is variation. The skill of holding variations is the skill of the teacher in teaching with some variations to attract students' attention. This variation skill is related to the teacher's creativity in teaching. Teachers can use variations in tone of voice, from loud to soft, high to low, and fast to slow, for example. Or it could be by making eye contact, walking around the class, using facial expressions, and so on. And the last is reinforcement. Reinforcement skills are the skills of a teacher in maintaining the possibility of repetition of a student's behavior. That is, the teacher can make students consistent in doing something. Reinforcement skills can be done verbally or non-verbally. To make it clear, I will give you an example about how to apply those three skills when we teach students in the classroom. Here we go. All right, so I have a question and also a challenge for you all guys. Uh, those who dare to take the challenge, Miss will give you this delicious chocolate. All right, so the thing is, I want you to imagine that someday you will meet a foreigner and then you make a conversation with him and during your conversation, he asked you to uh, about the tourist destination around where you live. So when you uh, face that kind of situation, what should you do? Anyone want to answer? Yes, Fanny, you want to answer? Exactly. So when you face this kind of situation, uh, it means that you need to describe the tourist destination that you know. Good job, Dani. Thank you. All right. So now I would like to challenge you. Who wants to try to describe the tourist destination that you know? Who wants to try? Just a simple description. Please raise your hand if you want. Yes, Andy, you want to try? Okay, good. You may go on. Wow, I love the way you described it, Andy. Good job. And thank you. Here is the chocolate for you. All right, that's all about the example. I hope this video can be useful for all of us. Thanks for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.